and this is where the borderline personality disorder kicks in. <laughs> oh my god, I just crashed my car. I just <gasps> crashed my car so stupid. I was I had a facial. This is so first world problems and I can't get a grip of myself. I had a facial because my skin sucks and everybody tells me my skin sucks and I know my skin sucks so I had a facial which is really good a facialist and I had it scheduled for so long and like I already pre-paid and everything like that and I like I like left early because I live far away I live like 45 minutes away and so I left early and I was trying to get out of my freaking gate and like only one gate opened and oh this is such first world problem we freaking SUV when it fit through it so it's like oh so I'm trying to call Moses and like he's being so great and he's doing like literally moving my mom from me today and like <laughs> to her new place and he's literally so great but I'm like calling him I'm calling him and he's not answering and I don't know what to do and I'm like losing my mind because like I canceled on this girl before and like oh my god why is this so why am I so triggered by this like I can't I literally can't get a compromise so then I try to take my other car through, and the other car is like smashed. Oh, let me show you. And this is why for so long people were like, why don't you buy a house? Why don't you buy a house? This is the first reason why, because shit comes wrong like this. And we live so far away, so I can't freaking Uber anywhere. I'm so frustrated. Like, I'm literally in therapy like three times a week trying to like manage these like episodes and like i don't know how i'm not like equipped to handle these episodes where it's like everything's my fault and i fucked up and like i can't get a grasp <sighs> i can't get a grasp okay oh my god this is like so embarrassing <sighs> it's like so embarrassing like all the neighbors like came by and it looks like i'm like trying to break into my own house <sighs> that's the car <sighs> And I know so many people are gonna be like, oh my gosh, like so happy that like some shit happened to me, but like what the fuck? <sighs> I'm so stupid, I can't even back out. Like there's no way they're gonna be able to fix this game without ruining my car for. I'm looking at it, I'm like, I'm so stupid, like how am I so stupid? Like why would I why would I even try to fit through? Like just for a freaking face to the point where I can say, oh my god, this is dead again. Like, I really don't deserve to have nice things because, like, shit like this gets ruined, and now my mental health is, like, out of control. I just, like, just want to die. <laughs> so, for anyone who's like, oh my god, she just seems to be doing well, like, thank you. I appreciate it. Like, I've actually been trying to actually put in work <laughs> and talk to therapists. <laughs> and now, on top of that, these voices in my head and stuff like that, like, it's just a lot. And, like, everything was fine. Like, I haven't had a breakdown in so long, and I just don't know how to, like, like, I don't know how to manage this alone. Like, I feel alone. I feel stupid. I feel embarrassed. I feel like all the neighbors around are, like, probably like, so dumb. I'm paranoid that someone's going to, like, break in and kill me right now that the gate's open. <laughs> I'm literally so dumb. <laughs> like, I literally don't know what to do. Like, the mom's like, it's fine. Like, they can fix the door. Like, people are coming out, but, like... It's not fine. Like, I'm literally so dumb and like, I cannot take care of myself. <laughs> and I feel like it's progressively like getting worse and like, <laughs> it just sucks. <laughs> it also just sucks. Like, everyone like, is finally like, oh my god, I just got her shit together. We're so happy for her. And then, then I do that shit down there. <laughs> and I'm out of shape. <laughs> The gym equipment is supposed to come. <sighs> oh my god, I'm so dumb and so stupid. And the front of my, my SUV, like, I don't think it's any bad, but I did tap it. I guess it's okay. <laughs> just, I just shouldn't have even tried to go through. I should have just canceled. Like, it's not a big deal. Like, that's the thing. Like, Really, like I, I'm, I'm scared to like tell someone I'm not gonna make an appointment. Like, <laughs> I feel like, <laughs> I mean, I'm okay. I just, I tried. To... Oh my god! I tried to be like my therapist. <sighs> He doesn't even feel me back. I just <laughs> feel so stupid. <laughs> I'm 
feel so dumb. I really haven't felt like this in so long. Where I felt like I can't handle something. But as soon as Moses is gone, it's like, I can't handle things on my own. Because this is all so stupid. There's too many people to call and gate numbers. He's like, here's the gate number. And I just hung up. I just, I can't. I'm so overwhelmed. Okay. Update. I talked with my therapist and I feel better. I feel stupid, but he's like, don't feel stupid. I'm like, <laughs> it's, it's something in my brain that just, just happens, but I have to like catch it and like, like, is anyone hurt? No, thank God. You know, you know, like on a scale of one to 10, how bad is this? And it, like it feels like a 10 reality says it's it's not even a problem i crashed my own car i'm stupid it's just money it's just a gate in the grand scheme of things like everything's fine i breathed i did meditation um i just like laid out for a minute i did my tiktok i, I went on tiktok it does calm me down Reminds me like the world is still moving and like I really, huh, it was really scary. <laughs> um, I definitely need to get on medication for like voices because like the voices were telling me like, you know, like you ruined it. Like Moses is gonna leave you. Um. You know the internet now knows that you know you're you're it's it's imposter fraud because they thought you were doing so good but look at you now you just crash this but like nobody's thinking that if anything maybe i can make this like a video or something and it'll like be something i can laugh at later it's like when i'm alone i really but i like talking to my therapist he like i hope it's okay if i laugh because it's just you know you know, it, it's, and it, it was fine because it made me realize, I was like, okay, it's like not that serious. I feel so stupid. I feel so, I was like frantically, erratically texting Moses and I just, I'm going to take a nap. That's how I feel. I can really just wake up and like feel like it's okay. It's done. What's done is done. It happened. No one hurt. It's my car, my gate. Even if the whole car got totaled, like, it's not the end of the world. And, yeah. So, I just want to check in with you guys. <laughs> I, like, was so beside myself. Like, I literally, like, just, all the only thing I thought to do is, like, document it so I could, like, make a video or something. I don't know. Maybe it's, like, maybe this will make it worth it. I don't know what I'm thinking. But, um, yeah, that was stupid. Anyways, I, um, I just had to email and cancel my facial appointment. I feel really bad too, like wasting other people's time. I think that was my big thing because that's what I said. I said I just feel so stupid because like I literally like the first time I didn't show up to this um, girl's facial, like it's a different person that I normally go to. Um, I like my phone was literally like thrown over hell. Don't ask, but it was literally just not in my possession and I felt so stupid. And then I finally got to go with her because a friend of mine was going and she brought me with her and I don't think the woman really remembered, but I feel like now she's gonna be like, this girl's like done me twice. And I just really don't like wasting other people's time. Like it's not even about my skin. My skin just sucks, whatever. But um, yeah, I really wanted to get skin product. <laughs> but I'm gonna take a nap right there and um, uh, just like pretend it's a new day where like 